We were talking the other day in New York to some scientists. After a great deal of discussion, oh, last over two hours nearly, I asked him, what is it? What will bring about a mutation in the very brain cells themselves? Not from the outside, genetic engineering, biochemistry, you follow all that. What will change the brain cells themselves which have been conditioned for thousands of years. I hope you are putting this question to yourselves. What would be your answer if you are serious and earnest and passionate enough to put this question? What would be your answer if you have thought a great deal about all this? Either you would say, it's not possible, and though, and so close the door for your further inquiry, or you would say, I really don't know, is it possible? We are in that position. We are not closing the door by saying it is not possible, it is impossible. How can man, who has been so conditioned for thousands and thousands of years through vast knowledge experience, how can that brain transform itself? It is not possible. If you are, are serious and put answer that way, it's not possible. Then you have you have closed completely the avenue of, of inquiry. But if we are inquiring into it, that is the way that the brain which has such extraordinary capacity in one direction and so utterly limited, circumscribed, conditioned, programmed to be a Catholic, Protestant, to be a British, French and English, you know, all the rest of it. Whether that brain can be totally free. Not free to do what you like. That's We're all doing that anyhow. <laughs> Pursuing our own pleasures, our own solitary ambitions. Our own Salvations, if you are at all religiously minded, our own isolated pleasures and illusions that we do that every day of our life. That's a common occurrence for all humanity, pursuing their own isolated, solitary illusions stimulations, aspirations and ideologies. And that's what they call freedom. Surely that's not freedom. Freedom requires a great deal of discipline. Please understand what we mean by by that word. We'll go into it in a minute. Freedom implies great humility. Humility, innate inward discipline, and work. 